Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. We will now continue our ongoing home automation project using Arduino. In today's video, I will show you how to connect a 220 volt AC electric fan to this system. The fan will automatically turn on when the temperature in the room gets hot. Interesting, right? Just a reminder, if you are to recreate this project, please avoid skipping any part of this video to ensure that you get all the necessary information that is needed to build this project safely. If you want to know how I set up the temperature and humidity sensor, please check the description below for the link to the previous video. First, let's briefly discuss the additional electrical component and wiring connections for this next part of the project. We will need a relay module board. A relay is an electromagnetic switch that uses a small current to drive a larger circuitry. It can be controlled with low voltages, like the 5V provided by the Arduino. For this project I am building, I will be using the 5V 4-channel relay module. Although we will only need to use one channel for this project, I will now use the 4-channel because I will have other components to be connected here in the next videos. In this type of module, you will see 4 NC outputs, 4 NO outputs, and 4 COM outputs. When working with relays, it is crucial to know the load ratings written on them. As for this relay that I will be using, the rating is DC 30 volts 10 amps and AC 250 volts 10 amps. This means that this relay is compatible with up to 250 volts AC, and the device or appliances that will be attached to this relay should not draw more than 10 amps. Let us now discuss the wiring connection for this project, and this should be simpler than when we set up the temperature and humidity sensor. Connect the GND pin of relay to the GND of Arduino, then connect the VCC pin of the relay to the 5 volts of Arduino. And finally, for the signal, connect input 1 of the relay to the D5 of the Arduino. That's all for the wiring diagram. I will now mount the relay module to my board, and then, I will proceed with the wiring connections as discussed. As you can notice, I have added labels to all of my wirings at the back of the board, which makes it easier for me now to connect. Now that we have completed the mounting and wiring process let us proceed with the next step. To control AC appliances, we have two options. We can wire directly to the device or use an extension cord. For this build, I decided on the latter. Safety warning. If you are to recreate this project, I want to let you know that you are dealing with high voltage. When making projects that are connected to the main power line, you need to be careful to prevent getting shocked. Make sure that you are fully aware of what you are doing. I will now show you how to create a smart switch system. We will need an extension cord with socket outlet. Take note of the rating, in my case, I am using an extension cord with the same rating as my relay, which is 10 amps. Split the two wires using a cutter and then cut one side. Remove small part of the insulation because we will need to connect another extension wires. As for the length, this will now depend on your requirements.
I am using a heat shrink tube to insulate my connections. And for double protection, I will also wrap it with electrical tape. Next is to enclose the connecting wires. I highly recommend doing this for added safety. As for the other end of the extension wires, we will connect these to the relay. But, before we do that, I will also make an enclosure for this relay. Take note that we will be connecting 220 volts in this system, and the relay module is bare. It is a lot safer if we can add some enclosure to protect us from accidental shock. For the simple DIY enclosure, I will be using a 1.5mm, a 3mm Sintra board, and acrylic glass. I will now start building the enclosure for the relay, and it will have a sliding mechanism so that I can easily remove the acrylic glass whenever needed. Next, let's insert the extension wires to the COM and NO of the relay. Just a reminder, if you will also use a 4-channel relay into your project, be mindful of the outputs you are using. In this project, I will be using relay number 1 because my signal to the Arduino is connected to the input 1. Always double-check the labels and markings on the board. Let us go to our Arduino IDE and upload the new codes. The easiest way to do this is to delete the previous codes that you have uploaded and just copy and paste the new codes to the IDE. Please check the description below on where you can get the updated codes. If you are curious, here is the new line of codes we added to this project. We defined the new digital pin that will give a signal to the relay which in this project is D5. Then we added two lines in the setup to declare the pin as an output and to start the relay into high mode. Finally, we added this set of codes in the loop. This will control the switch we created. What this code means is that, turn on the switch if the temperature in the room is above 30 degrees Celsius. Feel free to change this value according to your preference. Before you click upload, check your settings again and it should be the same as before.
go to tools and select the board you are using, then the processor, and then the port. If you are confused, please watch the previous video for reference. If everything is correct, click Upload. Again, if the upload is successful, it will read, Done uploading below the ID. Now, it is time to test our build. Unplug the Arduino from your computer and plug it into the power bank. Insert the batteries and again, be mindful of the polarities. Next, plug the extension cord. And then, plug the AC fan into the extension cord. As you can see, the reading in my temperature sensor is 30 degrees Celsius. And so, the fan is switch off. What I am going to do for this test is to place hot water on top of the sensor to increase heat. As you can see, the reading is now 32 degrees Celsius and the relay kicks in to switch on the electric fan. Check out the next video in this series and learn how to expand this project to perform other automation. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.